Okay, this is a short video about how I uh, full bricked, uh, full painted this brick. Um, I first I marked on the uh, wall pencil um, line. You can see it, and all I'm doing is following it down. Get as close as you can. If you make a mistake, it's no big deal. Because you can just go over it, change its shape. See, like right there. Just like that and then once you're done you just fill it in you could use a roller for this but I'm lazy and I just figure I'll just do it with a brush instead of having to clean a roller okay so this is looking into the corner you can see I filled it all in and if it looks a little modeled don't worry about it because it's gonna look a lot more modeled later you'll see So you can see here, I've just put some paint in a bowl, uh, flat black and flat white, and just mix it all up to get the uh, grout color. At least the base grout color. There will be uh, lighter colors that go on afterwards. That you just do the same mixing, but you just lighten them up as you go. So you can see I've mixed up the uh, paint to uh, the mortar gray. So you can see here how I've marked in the uh, grout lines or painted them in and then there's pencil lines here that I've been using to get the right distances here's the tool that I've been using to get the spacing correct piece of cardboard then for a corner job like this one is you want to offset the uh, corner grout on every other corpse So you can see here how I alternated from this wall, every other course, that wall, every other course, and you can see that it's not precision at all. And that's great because this is going to be used brick real rough. No precision required. So this is the first coat of the grout complete. So here's all the painting mess and uh, and you can see, and I'm starting to um, antique these bricks. You can see, here's what they look like before. And as I dab on the paint, then all I do is just kind of mix it all up into a couple of bowls. I get some brown and some red and some white and black. And I just scrape it on with this stuff. And I'll show you that here in a minute. So I just dab this stuff in like this and take a brick and just rub it on. You see what it does there? Kind of softens it up, makes it look used. And then if you want to add a little color to it, you come down, pick up a little white and just kind of pick a brick and just just daub it on like that and you can see you get away looks pretty good and then later on i'll show you how to soften up the mortar so this is how i mix the paint up in the bowl just uh, black and white and kind of smoosh it all together and then uh, take a brush and you can see here what I'm doing. Just kind of brushing it on, like a dry brush almost. Um, see if I can get a little bit of it going here. Just kind of smush it on. And you can see how it just roughens it up, makes it look a lot more like, like a uh, mortar. Get back. See, it looks a little bit more realistic. So now I'm just taking a small little bit of paint, light color, 
and highlighting the areas of the brick or the mortar actually so like right here I might just make a little swipe just like that right there just to give the illusion of depth and right up here so then you can see when you step back there's the finished product hope you enjoyed it and give it a shot it's a lot of fun and it's really easy to do and I'll uh, at the end of this I'll have a picture of the paint colors that you need to get I get them from Lowe's okay see ya